Now this is Wario 7793, and I thought I'd showcase something a little different. Uh, some old vintage uh, Series 1 Dungeons & Dragons paraphernalia, or as I call it, bling bling. As you can see, I've got a couple of the original Dungeons & Dragons monster manuals, a theme folio, Manual of the Plains, Legends and Lars, back from the early 1980s through 19, the mid-1980s. I also have some lead figures, if you can see them, they're pretty pretty small. Approximately 172nd to 164 scale, depending on um, depending on how you judge them. There's a, you can see there's a couple of Grim Reapers, some of the Death, there's a Ninja, a Beholder, some Fighters, a couple of custom fighters. I got Thrish Talk, the custom name I made up for one. Uh, I got some various monsters, um, Minotaurs hiding in there. There's the uh, Jabberwocky. I cut, he's, he's, he's kind of a custom job a little bit. Uh, yeah, I thought he was neat. He's based on an actual story, a kid's story from years ago. I got some other different monsters, a wizard, a Medusa, a couple of mimics. They can uh, look like anything they want. Some demons, a land shark. Well, let's move the book out here a little bit. I even picked up some neat uh, aliens. I've got the queen, which is on her side because her leg broke off. And a couple of the drones and a couple of eggs with a face hugger. You can see the little tiny face hugger there. Uh, most of these were actual lead figures. True lead. Like the kind you don't want to suck on because it can give you lead poisoning. Uh, they did change over to the composite materials, pewter and... Um, uh, aluminum and some other soft metals that were a little safer for kids and uh, I got the a lot of these uh, during college and high school I think got a huge chunk of them from a clearance sale through Grenadier Models who got bought out I think by West End's games in the early 90s and I used a credit card about $120 worth only about $3 a piece I couldn't pass that up and uh, I just thought I'd showcase this I figured any of you guys that are this is kind of a nerd alert. So uh, any guys that are really into the stuff, into the newer stuff, that you might check out some really old school pieces. Uh, I don't have it showcased here, but I had an actual uh, Matchbox English-only co collectible piece, a uh, two-story English bus that said visit the London Dungeon on the side. We used to use it to role-play that the characters would need a ride to the nearest dungeon to go explore for treasures and monster and experience points and all that. I thought this would be kind of fun to showcase and uh, this is Wario7793 and I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Same. What good are lead figures when you don't have something to figure out uh, what your chances are survival and so forth. I got some neat little dice here I've picked up over the years. Uh, we've got our, um, uh, if you can see there, it's a four-sided, looks like a pyramid. A uh, six-sided, a pair of them. One's jewel, kind of colored standard white, like uh, for gambling. Uh, I've got an 8-sided, 12-sided, uh, uh, or 10-sided, I should say, 12-sided, uh, 20-sided is pretty standard. Uh, you get the 30-sided, it's, uh, eh, it's a little more, you're able to do some more uh, intricate random generations of numbers and chances, percentages. Then we got the, the granddaddy of them all, the 100-sided. <laughs> yeah, this one, well, it's got some uh, rattles in it, little rattly noises, uh, some pieces in it. Otherwise, it roll forever, so you can just you just roll for a little ways, and it's after after a bit it slows down. And I almost forgot, I have some of the original Dungeons and Dragons character sheets. They're really old ones too. They're very. These are from the late '70s, early '80s when the Dungeon Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. I think I have a couple of them filled in, but they're just pretty much blank when you get them. You just kind of come up with your own statistics, and uh, uh, let's see if we can turn a page here. Uh, there's more stats in the back you can put in, all kinds of stuff. I mean, probably stuff you'd never even think of putting in there. You get your religion, your uh, your constitution, your statistics, your your inventory, uh, any spells that you have, uh, special weapons, special uh, knickknacks for spell components. Uh, ammunition, just whatever you can think of. And I thought I'd go ahead and showcase all the rest of this, my D&D &D bling. And uh, again, this is Wario7793, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up.